everyone, welcome to my filing technique workshop. In this workshop, I'm going to show you how to create consistent nail enhancements using a filing routine that never fails. I really hope you enjoy it, so let's get started. So welcome to my filing routine workshop. So I have already prepared my tips and I'm using the tips on the um, longer handle, so a swatch tip. And the reason I'm doing that is because it allows me to have a little bit more grip on it. Because sometimes with filing, when we're using the tips that are attached to our tip holders, so like these, they can tend to um, ping off, which obviously I don't want to happen. So I have already done my acrylic work, okay, on these tips. So I've used obviously three different colours. These are all from the Genesis range from Nalchemy. So I have used the uh, Blossom from Genesis, okay. I have used the Glistening Rose, from the Genesis core powder, these are all the core powders. I have used the peach from the core powder Genesis system, and I have also used the petal from the core powder system. Okay, so I have a lot of people asking me about my filing routine and how I make sure that it's correct. So this is my personal filing routine. You may have your own routine, that's absolutely fine. But what I would say about filing routine is that you have to make sure that it's consistent. So once you have a routine, you need to make sure that it's the correct way of doing things so that nothing is missed out. So what I would also say to begin with is to make sure that your acrylic application is as good as it can possibly be so it's not too lumpy bumpy and you've got your apex in the right place. Otherwise you're making work for yourself when it comes to filing and the less filing we have to do the better. So the first thing you have to do in your mind's eye but I'm actually going to draw it on just for demonstration purposes. The first thing you have to do is draw a line in your mind's eye down the centre of the nail, okay? So obviously we wouldn't be doing this on a client but I'm just doing it so that you guys can see. We have then got our free edge section which is this section here. We have our side wall section which is here, okay? And obviously on both sides, all right? And then we have our cuticle area. So that is this area here. And our apex, obviously depending on the length of the nail, is normally around this section here. Okay? So that is the grid in my mind's eye of what I am doing when I'm doing my filing routine. Okay, so the first step of my filing routine is I file in my free edge and this is just a rough guide. So we're going to be doing this as a square nail. This is just a rough guide because it may need altering when we come to finishing off our filing routine. So I just literally go along, I'm just going to grab hold of this a little bit better. We literally go along our free edge with our file and just refine that. And I'm going in at a straight angle. So the angle I'm going in at is the like that, okay? Now obviously if this was rounded, we would be rounding off our corners, but this is the angle of our file. We need it to be straight. We don't wanna curve it under, okay? Because what will happen then is we will get rid of our corners. And we don't wanna curve it up because by that way we will be taking off this area here, which we don't want to do. We want that to be nice and crisp. So going in at a straight 90 degree angle, we are filing in our free edge. Okay, so if I just show you down the barrel of the nail, that's nice and straight. It's not 
it's not angled underneath and it's not angled on top it's nice and straight okay and we're going to do exactly the same for our side walls so I come in at this angle you don't want to go in at a straight angle to the nail you don't want to be coming in I'm just going to snap the end of that off so I've got a little bit more there we go we don't want to be coming in at this angle because what we're going to do then is file into our acrylic up here and we don't want to do that so we don't want to be coming in at this angle this angle we want to be coming in under okay so it's about a 45 degree angle so by doing that that way we're not disturbing any of the acrylic that's on the actual nail we are just filing in that side worn free edge now obviously I'm doing this on a tip so I'm having to take it all the way down but if we were doing this on a client's finger so for me on this one for example we would be going in like this okay so I've done that side and I'm going to do that on the other side at, again at a 45 degree angle we don't want to be coming on top we don't want to be coming underneath we want to be coming in to the side all right so the next thing I do is I concentrate on my side wall application so hopefully you'll have got that nice and slim anyway so you can see I've tapered my acrylic down into that side wall you don't want this to be too thick because that's where you will get lifting and you're also going to help by doing it nice and thin with your acrylic application on that side wall your lessening the chance of your acrylic product touching your client's skin which obviously we don't want to happen so i'm going to be working in this area here and only that area okay we don't want to be taking it up onto the free edge zone we don't want to be taking it into this middle zone we certainly don't want to be taking it into the apex and we're not working on the cuticle yet and i'll tell you for why in a second so the two areas that we're working on are literally the side wall areas here okay so I'm gonna get my file and it's now that we go at this angle so we're going on top so if I show you we're going on top of the nail here okay so there's our nail there and we are going to be working at this at this angle okay so just working in that side wall area all right so I'm going to be going up over the nail this way okay so starting at my free edge tapering down and moving up but stopping when we get to this area so you're looking at about a four maybe three mil area that you're working on. So tapering that up and stopping when we get to our cuticle line. We don't want to do our cuticle just yet. So I'm not working in any other area. I'm literally working on that side wall area and nowhere else. So this is a 180 grit file and I use the curved files, I just find that a lot easier, that's what I've always worked with so that's what I've got used to, obviously you could be using a straight file or an e-file to do this. And then this area, rather than going up over that way, I come down and round. So obviously if this was on a client we would be pulling back their side walls making sure that we're not catching their skin we don't want to be doing this seesaw action we are pulling it down looking at it the whole time making sure that we're not taking anything away that we don't want to so looking down the nail okay if i just there we go, looking down the nail, we have now tapered in those side walls, okay, they're nice and even, but we haven't touched any of our top curve yet, 
all right so now what I'm going to do is I'm going to marry up these two points so from here to here we've given ourselves a guide here of where we want to taper in our cuticle line okay so obviously the client's skin would be here so we need to be super super careful of not touching their skin with our file and we are going to just literally from that point of our side wall scooch that round not touching the client's skin in any way shape or form using a smooth motion okay so you can see there's no scratches on this part which would be their finger we are keeping all of our file concentrated on this nail so again scooching it in and round making sure that it's nice and flush with their natural nail we don't want any ridge so as it grows up we don't want any ridge here because that will cause lifting and bringing it round to meet that other side wall so what I'm going to do I'm going to bring this up and taper it into where our apex is placed okay so going round in a curve and tapering it into our apex so you can see now if I turn that to the side you can see now we've tapered our just wait for that to focus so we have tapered in our cuticle line okay we have tapered in our side walls we haven't touched our apex or our free edge or our top curve just yet okay and if I show you from the looking down the barrel angle we have got our side walls tapered in really nicely okay and now what we're going to do is work on our free edge so again in the same way as the cuticle but just the other way round we are going to do our free edge now when you're working on your free edge you need to make sure you're not taking away too much of this product you just want to even it out okay and the curve from underneath of the nail needs to match the curve on top of the nail so you can see I've got a little bit of a lump just here that I'm going to get rid of so looking down the barrel of the nail the whole time while we're doing this we are tapering in that free edge but again keeping it flat we don't want to taper it down like we did our cuticle area we want to keep it flat so this is where I'm sitting my file literally on top of the nail like this okay and that is how we're creating that flat edge but not working on this area at all we are just working on that free edge making sure we get that curve nice and even to be able to put the structure of the rest of our nail in okay so I'm just going to give that a little dust off zoom out slightly okay so if I show you now our free edge section okay we have now got that curve on top of the nail is the same thickness all the way across okay and it is even you see that we have tapered in our side walls and we have tapered in our we have tapered in our cuticle line all right so that has now given us a square surface that we haven't even touched so if I just pop this down we have now got this area here 
that hasn't yet been filed. This area here, our apex, and this area here. So we've got a rectangle that we are now going to come in and file that. So what we're going to do is use the areas that we've filed in already as our guide to be able to file in that top section, okay? Because we know that our cuticle, our sidewalls, and our free edge filing is now done. We don't need to touch that again. So what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go over this now with a flat file. So we want to file now at this angle, flat to the nail, okay? So we're going in at this angle. All right, and what we want to do is marry up, like we did our side walls and our cuticle, we want to marry up this line, okay, from each edge to create a nice smooth dome on top of that nail. We don't want to take away the cuticle, the apex, okay, so all we're doing is tapering that in and making it nice and smooth. And then this area here, is gonna sit nice and flat and marry up from our apex into our free edge. So I'm just gonna go over that now. We start at the apex end, okay? So I literally am just scooching over, I'm not over filing because you can always go back to it. And I'm just taking it up gradually to the end and the free edge of my nail. So you can see my pencil marks are now disappearing, bringing it from each side wall up to my free edge file line and going over the nail, just literally scooching over, okay? And tapering that side down, tapering this side up, and just scooching over. So it's now at this point, we want to look down the barrel of the nail and make sure that that is nice and even. Okay, so we're looking down the barrel of the nail and making sure that we've got a nice curve to that nail and it's nice and even all the way down through. If it's not, you need to go back in and take away any bumps that have been created. By not filing correctly. Okay, so you can see we've got a nice straight line on top that marries up with our straight line underneath. Our apex is still in there, admittedly, it's not a very big apex because we are working on a tip, and our side walls are nicely tapered. So you can see that there, it's nice and even all the way across the nail. And looking down the barrel of the nail, so if I just pop that like that, you can see it's nice and even all the way down through. I've just got a tiny little bit here that I need to take off, just looking down it. But there's not a lot of refinement at all that we need to do. So now what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna go in with my white block buffer. I have actually ordered and got some some mini buffers. So these are from Nalkme and they are disposable. So they're great to be able to use on your client and just go over and buff the nail and then we can throw them away. Okay, but I'm just going to use my white blocks. I'm working on a tip and I can do that. So I'm just going over the entire nail okay over that top section there and then what I'm doing I'm pulling it down this side of the side wall obviously if you're a lefty you're going to be doing that this way and then I'm pushing down this side and literally just pushing over my free edge to make sure that I've removed any scratches that have been caused by my other file. And now I'm going in with a 200 grit buffer. 
again going down the center pulling down that side wall pushing down the other side and then pushing across my free edge and obviously going around that cuticle line as well so I'm just going to dust that off and this is your first check of your line of light as well so you can see there's a little bit of shine on there now you can see there's a line of light here it's quite a broad line of light because it's only buffed but if we move the nail from side to side and tilt it up and down you can see it's a nice even line of light so what I'm now going to show you is your top coat so this is the no wipe top coat and this is going to help us to see our line of light on this nail so when I talk about the line of light it is literally that it's the line of light that is caused by the reflection of your light that enables us to see if we've got a nice consistent enhancement so you can see that line of light there coming down to the free edge and I'm just tilting the nail and it stays nice and even all the way through that is what we want okay so if I move that there it stays nice and consistent there's no lumps and bumps in it at all and we can do that all the way across and that line of light again is nice and consistent so I'm just going to pop that in the lamp for a cure and I'm going to show you the filing routine in real time without explaining it on the next nail okay so I've got a, another nail here and I'm just going to just for demonstration purposes show you the lines that I'm going to work to again so we've got our center line we've got our apex line we've got our cuticle line we've got our side wall lines and we have got our free edge line so again I'm going to do the free edge first I'm going to do the side walls and get that shape in and then I'm going to do the side wall on the left side wall on the right obviously if you're a lefty it's going to be the other way around I'm then going to do my cuticle I'm going to do my free edge and then I'm going to do my apex and that top curve okay so this is now real time so when I'm doing a client this is how my filing routine would go so free edge making sure it's nice and straight going in at a 45 degree angle I'm doing my sides and I'm going to go in and do my side walls going to do my other side wall I'm going to do my cuticle line my free edge I'm going to go over my apex bringing that over to each side wall making sure I'm marrying it up and then when I get to the end I'm going to marry up my free edge line I'm just going to look down the barrel make sure there's no lumps or bumps so I've got a slight one there which I need to get rid of I'm 
so when as well you get a little bit more advanced you can actually run your thumb or your finger over the nail which I do a lot and you'll get trained to feel for any lumps or bumps and now what I'm going to do I'm just going to go back in on that free edge and make sure that it's nice and crisp but I haven't got rid of too much product I'm going to go in with my white block right down the centre of that nail pull down this side push down this side and push across my free edge making sure that I've got rid of any scratches and now go in with my 200 buffer and that is my filing routine complete so by having I'm just going to get rid of that dust by making sure that I have a consistent routine that I will repeat over and over again on every single nail means that my products my filing and my shaping is consistent across the whole set of 10 nails okay so I'm just going to dust that off, I'm going to grab my no wipe, I'm going to pop that on, and we can just check our line of light so it's nice and consistent all the way through and all the way across the nail as well okay and that's going to go in for a full cure so I'm just going to show you as well that nail that we did previously so we've got a nice even consistency across the entirety of the nail and a nice even line of light as well it doesn't bend or bump or distort as it's going across the nail and that's the finish that we want we want it to be nice and crisp and consistent so that completes my filing routine workshop i really hope that you guys have enjoyed it and if you did please make sure you click the like button and to see any future workshops make sure you click the subscribe button and the notification bell Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all again soon.